Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and we're chapter 14. Jesus is teaching. We're going to pick it up at verse 28 to 33. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it? Lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, That man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is still a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks conditions of peace. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. So we're continuing the teaching from the last couple of mornings. Jesus is telling us, count the cost. Figure out something. Figure it out today. Don't, don't, don't linger another moment. You must realize that to follow Jesus is going to cost you a lot more than you thought it would. I'm just telling you, we all begin the Christian life, and we, although we're told this, somehow we just don't quite get it. We think we're going to get uh, Christianity sort of like a discount price. And uh, there aren't any discount prices. There just aren't, you know. Uh, the fact is that it's going to cost us something to follow Jesus. The example here, for example, the king who has only got 10,000 troops against the other guy who's got 20,000 troops. Well, boy, that's a pretty strong differential. You might not be able to win. That That's pretty intense. And so you might need to sue for peace. Uh, we are looking to really calculate the cost. And here we have this warning you cannot be my disciple unless you're willing to forsake all that you have. So it's unusual for God to have us actually, literally give up everything we have, although there is the rich young ruler that he said, take and sell everything you have and come and follow me. But for most of us, that isn't the, the, the demand. That's not something we actually have to do. But we need to be ready and willing to do it. And everything else will fall into place, right? So whatever you need, God can provide it. He's, he's, he owns all that there is to own, and he can give you whatever you and I need to have. So we can trust him. And you know, this business about being a disciple, this is a high calling. Are we ready to forsake everything that we have to follow Jesus? Some of us aren't really clear about that. Let's be clearer today. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, many of us still, you need to reveal to us some of the things we're holding too closely, things that are maybe even good things, but they, if they are, would inhibit our walk with, with you, then they're, they're, they need to be put in their place. Help us, Lord, to really understand that being a disciple is costly. It costs Jesus a great deal. It costs the Holy Spirit a great deal, and it costs you a great deal. Now, Lord, help us to realize that it will cost us a great deal, but it will be worth it at any cost to follow you. Bless us and help us in toward heaven, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, keep on counting the cost and keep on heading for heaven. It's, it's worth it. And Jesus is going to be our Lord. He's, he's, a, he's just thrilled that you and I have chosen to walk with him. Let's keep walking with him.